We're going on the Steamboat Natchez today and there's parking right by it. And while you're waiting for the boarding time, which for us is 11 today, there's some nearby shops and a food court if you want to hang out. And there's the Lighthouse Ticket Center. And it's all located behind the Jackson Brewery building, right over here. We bought our tickets online and printed out this voucher. And then when you get here, you go to the Lighthouse Ticket Center and you turn that in and they give you an actual ticket. And it tells you the boarding time, 11 a.m., depart 11.30, and arrives back at 1.30. In the Sunday Jazz Cruise, you can do sightseeing and brunch. It's $51 for an adult. But if you just want to do sightseeing and ride the boat, you can go for $34 a piece. And there's cheaper prices for kids. You can hear the steamboat in the background playing music on its whistle. I don't think there's any real dress code, real strict dress code. I think they recommend business casual, especially on the Sunday brunch cruise, but you can really wear about anything, any type of clothes looks like that you're used to. Like we see people in shorts. Yeah, shorts are fine. Yeah, so business casual is just a recommendation. And the first thing you do when you're in line is get your picture taken at this picture spot behind the wheel. There's a view of the boat. Alright, it's time for us to board. And our ticket has an extra little stub on the end that says adult brunch. But not everybody on this cruise is going to be there for the brunch. Looks like there's plenty of seating on the decks. Lots of chairs outside. For the dining we got on board and went to the right to the second set of doors. You can get a Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, Barks Root Beer, and Lemonade. And you can get it for $3.25. It's just not included with your brunch. And there's a big wine list. Yeah. German. to your advantage to come earlier if you'd like to be seated by a window but where we're seated in the middle you know we have a good view out the window but we're not right by the window and your server will come by and tell you when you can go up and get in line looks like there's two lines two separate lines or how does that um, look? it's the same on both sides this side. i mean in the middle but the outer side this side is like waffles and ham the fruit and this side is gumbo and oh, okay. And salad. Right. Okay. Thank you. Scrambled eggs and waffles and gumbo, yogurt, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so this is what we took off of the brunch. I got the white chocolate bread pudding and I got biscuits and gravy and grits and sausage and scrambled eggs, ham, croissants. How's it going, guys? Stan got the waffle and the salad and extra fruit. So it looks yummy. What do you think, Stan? Yeah, it looks really good. It smells good. good. We'll come back and give you a review after we eat. And we're pulling away from the dock now. And we're off. That one was in the glass indicating that we are officially underway. And our course is the ferret. We will be proceeding downstream down the mighty Mississippi River. Got a good buffet. Chicken and sausage gumbo. Much more good salad. Shrimp and grits. Biscuits and gravy. Two kinds of scrambled eggs. Turkey sausage patties. And white chocolate bread pudding. And there's bananas foster. And over here is brown sugar, white sugar. And there's the brown sugar pineapple glazed ham. And the waffle station. Yogurt. And fresh fruit. And you can go through as many times as you want. This is a genuine stern wheeler paddle boat. The real thing, like he said. It's 
cool cruising down the Mississippi with the jazz music playing. There's lots of seating, but I think the race is to see who can get the good seat in the shade. That's <laughs> probably for sure. That lady has a big floppy hat, which was smart. And there's a few bars and snack places you can get food on the ship if you don't eat at the buffet. This is the Texas bar. And you can get chips and drinks in here. Some pictures, Captain Don Houghton and Dolly Parton. And they do have Wi-Fi on board and there's the password, Natchez9. Shows a little bit of what they have. And there's beer, draft beer, and Coke products. <laughs> and there's a gift shop. Kinds of souvenirs. You get magnets of the Natchez. That's what we usually collect. And of course, Mark Twain, Life on the Mississippi. Definitely getting one of those. You can buy a Natchez fan. Never seen one like that. It's kind of like a little we'll get, we'll get disc. One and split it. Yeah. It's like a frisbee. Yeah, it's a frisbee, it's a fan. It's pretty warm, so you need a fan. And they have a steam calliope on this ship. That's what we heard playing the music, different tunes when we were waiting to get on. Hopefully they'll do that again. And this ship was built in 1975. It's the Natchez number no. nine, the ninth version. This is the Captain's Salon Bistro. An indoor bar here. There's a little bit of seating in the area. This is bottom deck towards the front. You can get drinks and some pastries, chips, a little bit of everything. And on the bottom deck you can go through the engine room. Down here it looks like we're moving pretty fast. Didn't seem quite as fast up on the top deck. deck on the port side is the engine room. So we can walk in there and take a look. Tell us about the steamer Natchez. This is what runs the paddle wheel down here. Tells you how the steam engine works. You must be in charge here. And there you can see the piston turning the paddle wheel got a piston on either side and this is as far as we can go towards the back on the bottom deck so we'll turn around and go back we're gonna go back up to the dining room and listen to the jazz band indoors for a while back into the dining room We're making our final turn and heading back. We're pulling back in and we're scheduled for 1.30. It's like 1.22 right now. So by the time they get docked and everything's situated, they'll probably be right about on time. So you can count on a two-hour cruise. 